Let's have a look at question 10 in this video. So if Crusoe and Friday regard food and clothing as perfect one for one substitutes, what should each produce? Now we're still going to use the data from the previous video. So let me go here and just crop it so that we can plot our new graph because we're speaking about a different case now, this perfect substitutes. So if we take this and copy it over there like that, how would the graph look like? So we would still have, we would still have these two goods. We would still have food and clothing. So let's draw the food and clothing graph. Food and clothing, that would be over here our quantity of food and over here our quantity of clothing. Now recall, recall that our regular graph was 15 units of food in total, 15 units of food and 25 units of clothing, right? That was that was the production possibilities frontier from the previous video. But now, rem uh, but now recall that we're speaking about perfect substitutes, meaning that, meaning that we could treat this as the same unit, as the same good. In other words, if we have five units of food here, clothing can also be 10 units of clothing because clothing is the same as food. In other words, we could produce, we could produce 10 units of food and here Friday could produce another 15 units of food. So in total, the food production would be 25 units. It's possible. That's what it shows us. This is possible to produce. So the maximum production of food would be 25 units. And when it comes to clothing, well, we already have here the uh, 10 units of clothing, 15 units of clothing. So in total, that's 25 units of clothing. Uh, yeah, and that would be it. That would be the 25 units of clothing. So we have it on the graph. This would be the production possibilities frontier for the perfect substitutes case. Production possibilities frontier. The question is, the question is how much are they actually going to produce? Well, because they're perfect substitutes, it's wise that each of them produce what they can do the most. So they're going to do the highest number. So for Crusoe, he can produce 10 units of clothing at most. And Friday can produce 15 units of clothing at most. And if they do both clothing, it means in total they will produce 25 units of clothing. So we'll have a corner solution. That's going to be the optimal point over here. 25 units of clothing and no food because the clothing is going to compensate for the value from the food. For them, they are equal. And it's obviously they, they want more. So they're going to go for the clothing only. Hope this makes sense. And we are done.